Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Now, as y'all can tell, I'm making another video, even though the last one y'all saw, by the title of it, y'all probably thought that was going to be my last video on social media forever, and it was until I wanted to make this video and explain what's going on. My me and my mom got into a fight, y'all can tell by that last video, but that's all I'm going to say about that, so. This video will be my last video on social media for good, because I've earned them this because of everything that's going on and everything that is causing me to just vanish. I didn't want to just like vanish from social media without like a video or at least a little glimpse into what's going on behind closed doors, what's going on behind no cameras, what's going on in real life because this is, face it, this is real life. Everything y'all see on camera, I wouldn't say it's fake, it's just me being happy. I wasn't really happy, I was going through I was going through a lot. The last actual video y'all saw, I was going through a lot and that's why I didn't post video. That's why I missed like two days of posting. That's why I missed videos a lot. And that's why I've taken a lot of breaks from YouTube, from social media, is because the fights me and my mom get into. And then school. And now that I might be getting taken away somewhere where I can't take no phone or anything with me, it just makes it harder because I want to do this. Like, this is going to be my job. Like, I was, whenever I said that, this was going to be your job, every time I said that, that was me generally happy. But when I wasn't saying that, I wasn't happy. When I wasn't talking about that, I was thinking about other things. Because I have ADHD. And what ADHD means is your mind races. You're like, you're thinking about one thing. One second you're thinking about another thing. Another second you're thinking about another thing. Another second. Like your mind's just racing, 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 and racing with thoughts. And that's what I have in I hate that I have that, but this is how I am. And now it's, I'm not making myself cry, this is just me generally crying. And who wouldn't cry when they thought something, they put their heart and soul into something that they thought was going to be their job. And they hoped for the whole entire life that this will be the job and now it probably won't be and I really don't want to go from like doing something I love into like when I'm older and I'm able to go in to get a job that you have to work from 9 to 5 like literally 2 and my mom kind of has a job like that or not kind of she has a job like that and I hate to say it, I don't want to end up working a job like hers because <laughs> go to a job like that, I just want love. Like, I would hate it so much that I would just want to stay at home and and live with my mom. And I know my mom's not, is not going to let me live with her forever. And... Me and my mom already have a bad, bad, bad relationship. And on top of that, I have a bad relationship with my dad. And my dad's currently rotten in jail right now. So, like, who do I turn to for help? Who do I go live to, live with? Because no other job I'm going to love. I know that for a fact. Like... Before I wanted to do social media, I wanted to be either a, I wanted to be a singer or an actress or a singer actress. 
I've ever thought about it, and, and I really wanted to do social media more. So I started pursuing that at a very, very, very young age. And I see my friend, he's doing fine, so that I get like jealous of him because he's doing amazing on YouTube and I'm sitting back here doing bad and having these fights with my mom. My life is completely falling apart. And on top of that, I'm already thinking about Nobody should ever do this. I don't care who you are. You should never even think about it. But I, I'll admit, I've been thinking about suicide recently. <laughs> and I used to think about suicide a lot years ago. Like two or three years ago, I was still thinking about suicide every single day. And now I'm falling back into that headset where I'm thinking about it every single day. Like, do I do it this day? How am I gonna do it this day if I do go through with it this time? And then I think about, I don't want to leave my poor dog, or my mom, or my sisters. Like, I don't want to put that kind of hurt on someone, including an animal, because animals is like, are different because all they know, because we, because for all they know, their owner just ups and leaves and, you're, and they're never to be seen again. <laughs> and so, and that's another reason why I don't get them to take away. Because I know I'll come back. I know that for a fact. I'll come back. But I don't want to up and leave in the months and months. Because I'm going to be thinking about my dog every single second. Like, is my dog still alive? Is my mom still taking care of my dog? Dog, for what I did. On top of that, I'm just scared. I'm like, I'm scared to see what life is like if I do get taken away. And I'm scared to see how long I am taken away for. Like, every time my mom talks about taking away, and my cancelers, because I do have cancelers or not, they say almost up to a year. Like, either six or nine months. That's almost a year. So, like, I don't want to leave for that long. I don't want to leave this house. I've fallen in love with this house. I've fallen in love with my dog. Like, I love this dog. I would do anything for my dog. I would take a bullet for my dog. And I had my dog five years. So, yeah, I've already fallen in love with this dog. And I don't want her ever to get taken away. Or for me to ever get taken away from this dog. And for my mom on top of that, even though my, me and my mom have a rocky relationship, I don't want to get taken away from her. I don't want to ever see my mom or dog again. Like, I don't want to even not see them again for six or nine months, even though that's not forever, but it's so long. Then, I know I wasn't going to go see my sister this summer, who I haven't even told yet. But for me not to see my sister last that long, it's just crazy. Because I'm now thinking it's probably going to be longer than six months or nine months. It's probably going to be a year or two. And if they do more than two years, I will be old enough to, I will be 18. So I will be old enough to make my own decision if I want to walk out of that place and leave. So, and that's what I tell my mom, like, if I do go to the place, y'all do realize you can't put me in there for two or three years. Because <laughs> sooner or later, I'll be old enough, 18, because when you turn 18, you're technically you're an adult. <laughs> it's not 21 like people may think it is, that's the age you can drink at. But it's 18 when you're an adult, and you can do, you can make choices on your own. <laughs> And I think that's what scares my mom, is what kind of choices am I going to make when I'm 18? Probably bad ones, but...
if they end up getting me in jail, oh well. Hopefully, I was what well, I was about to say. Now that I realize it's probably not even gonna be a thing that could happen anymore. Hopefully, I'm successful on YouTube and I have a lot of money. I can bail my own self out. I won't be able to do that because I won't be doing YouTube. I'll be working on a job from freaking nine to five, nine to seven, ten to eleven, like a job like that, and. I wouldn't know what to do with myself if I got a job like that, literally. I would still have social media, I would still probably be posting pictures, I just won't be pursuing, pursuing it. I'll have a whole new Inst a whole new Facebook, a whole new Twitter, oh, everything I want. And I'll probably be at like three apps, like Facebook, Instagram, and then whenever you make a Gmail account, you kind of sign up to have a YouTube channel. Than that, but I won't be posting videos on it unless they're just like random, random videos. Just for the fun of it. But this isn't. I know every time I say it, I'm taking a break. I say it might be my last video, but I swear on my life, this time around it's different. I don't know how to explain to y'all why it's different this time, but it just is. My reasoning, y'all would not understand at all. I don't even understand it. And I don't know how to word it. But yeah, this is my last. This could be my last video. So I could still come back. But weeks. Or months from there, or years from now. Like one of my favorite YouTubers. He stopped doing YouTube because of his mental health and he only posted on his couple's channels with his girlfriend. Until recently, it's been it's been a year since he last posted on his channel. He was only posted on it what was a week or two ago. So I might end up taking a year off like he did. I don't know. But I'm just hoping and praying to God that things turn out differently. Because I don't know by the end of this weekend, Sunday. I'll, I'll hopefully know if I can come back to YouTube or not, and I I was excited to be posting every single day, but it's kind of slowly taking me time to start hopping back into every single day uploads. Like, I posted two videos today. That's not normal because that's how bad this is. And that's how serious this is. I'm not, this is not a prank. And you can even ask my mom, whenever I joke about stuff, I laugh. Or even when she smiles at me, I laugh. <laughs> I'm not joking. Like, this is not a prank. This is not a prank. I just swear to laugh because I love to be see how people think this is a joke. Like, I'm sitting here bawling. And I went on Instagram live yesterday just bawling. How do I start bowling that much if it's not something serious? Why would I take this to social media if it was fake? For obviously a prank. But like, why? I'm 15. Like, every single prank I pulled on my mom, the videos I posted that were a prank on my mom were private. But like, if you watch those videos, you could tell every single time I tried to, it ended up failing. But I swear, I swear on my life, I, I cross, I cross my heart. This is not a prank. Yes, I am sitting crisscross. Well, not sit crisscross. Not crossing any of my arms. Not crossing my toes. I don't even know how you like cross your toes. I mean, I do, but like, I'm not. I'll show y'all. Voila. Why would I just uncross my toes that fast? But this is not a prank. So we all my fingers, I'm not crossing my fingers. I mean I am, but like this is so we all not. <sighs> so I could and I know every single time I make a video I say I could and I end up coming back, but this time I know for almost I'm 
80% sure I could, I'm not coming back, and then I'm like 20% sure I am coming back. And so the not coming back outweighs the odds of me coming back. Was not good. Uh, but I will make a video letting y'all know. I like I sort letting y'all know I'm not coming back, and here is like one reason why that I can explain in literally 60 seconds. <laughs> but. I'll see y'all later. I'll see y'all hopefully Sunday if I can film my YouTube short. But until then, guys, it's gonna be it's gonna be sad. I'm not posting the video. It's gonna be hard to get used to, but it's like whatever. Like it's like I could not be coming back, and I need to get used to that. Excuse my language, but I need to get used to that fucking fact. That I cannot be coming the fuck back. And like, I'm like cussing because like, I'm so, I want to come back. But the odds of me, my mom gets to choose whether I come back to YouTube. Like literally, if I get taken away, she chooses that I can't do social media. So I don't get taken away, she chooses that I can stay and do. I'm coming back to social media. It depends on what my mom does. And the odds aren't in my favor this time. She's, she's fed up with it. She's fucking done with me. And let's face it, I'm fucking done with myself. But I'll see y'all. Hopefully Sunday with a another, excuse my language, with another fucking video. And I'm saying, and I'm saying that in a bad way because like I'm over it. Like I don't want to come back to YouTube at this point if all I'm gonna keep doing is making videos on. Say I'm taking a break and never come back. Like I'm fucking over it and I need to make up my goddamn mind. And so this time around, I swear to God, y'all, I'm making up my fucking mind. And never taking a break a day on social media in my whole entire fucking life if I continue to do social media. But I'll see y'all hopefully Sunday with another goddamn video. But until then, guys. Bye.